Hello everyone, this is Beaver Joe. Welcome to my second tutorial. As we know, many games have the health point elements. Some games use numbers to represent the health point, while one of the most common and classical display mode is using health bar, especially in some fighting games, adventure games, and RPG games. Players are not only enjoying the traditional health bar, also they want some animation inside the health bar. We can see one classical effect is that on the King of Fighter and the League of Legends. The idea of the health bar delay animation gives players the second time to experience how many heals they have lost. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up one health bar in UI canvas. And then I will use C-sharp script to make the health bar delay animation effect. So let's do it. Now we have created one empty 2D project. First, let's create some folders to make our project manageable. Then, drag all sprites in the sprite folder. All resources in this tutorial you can simply download from the description below. After dragging all images to the folder, all sprites mode are single mode. So we have to slice those images before using them. If you don't know how to slice the image fast in the sprite editor, I have shared 4 popular methods in my previous tutorial. I highly recommend you to watch that video. Back to the sprites, all sprites are made by Photoshop with precise grid and layout in a regular pattern during creation. So don't worry about what the pixel size anymore. In here, we just use grid by cell count to slice the first image. Import the column 1 and row 5 to slice it. Don't forget pressing the apply button and close the sprite editor. Back to the Unity, first create one UI canvas. It should be noticed that we have to change the UI scale mode to scale with screen size. Using the scale with screen size mode, position and sizes can be specified according to the pixel of a specified reference resolution. Then create one UI image. We want our health bar always stick on the upper left of the corner. Hold Alt and Shift to place the image in its better and change the size. Then drag the health bar frame image to the source image and click the preserved aspect. Preserved aspect can ensure image remains existing dimension. Then you can resize the image to make the image look perfect in your cameras. Then change the name of this UI image and continue setting up our health bar. Then duplicate our frame image and rename it health bar background. Drag another image to the source image again and change the order of the UI image. We will see our health bar have one background color now. Because I don't want our health bar is transparent background color so that I draw one gray rectangular behind it. If you want one transparent health bar, skip the gray color image as well. Then continue to duplicate the first image another two times. One is called health bar point which represents our current health point. Another called health bar effect which will make one delay animation effect later. Place them to the correct order and select both of them because we want our health bar decrease horizontally from right to left. In here, we must change the image type from simple to field. Field type can display only a portion of the image. A field image will display a section of the sprite with the rest of the rack transform left transparent. Try to click on a point on the field amount slider to change the size of the health point. You will see the range of the field amount from 1 to 0. OK, we have finished our UI part. 
creating one enemy to test our healthbar animation. First, slice the image as well. In here, we try to slice manually. If you try to slice automatically, the sprite editor will automatically separate enemies two wings like this. Then creating one empty object to set up our enemy. By the way, sorting layers allows you to set the render order of the multiple sprites easily. Also drag one white cycles to the bank of these enemies which display a dangerous area to players. If the player enters the area of the lights, he will lose his health point one time. In order to see clearly, change the background color in the main camera. After set up our enemy, it's time to set up our player. We have created one bat from Photoshop and slice in a regular pattern. Just go to the sprite editor using grid by cell count to slice it. Drag all sprites elements to the scenes view and make one simple animation. Press the run button and we can see the result. Because we want if our player enter an area of enemy, we will lose some health point. So we have to add the rigid body 2D and the collider 2D components to them. Adjust the collider size from the collider editor. Don't forget to check the, its trigger in Enemy 2D Collider. Make sure to tell the Unity our enemy is configured as trigger. Then it's time for coding. First, we want to set up simple date to our player. Open the editor and set up the current chaos point and the max value. Awake method is called after all objects are initialized. Before the game starts, our current health point is equal to the max value. So you can see here, although I have set the current health point as 10, when the game starts, the current health point will change to 100. Then we want to be using one callback method used by Unity. I'm talking about onTrigger enter 2 d This method is called by Unity whenever another object enters or triggers. I'm gonna actually get some information about the object. Do that, in the first parameter, we write Collider2D because we want to know more about the collider we hit it, and we call this collider collision. If something has hit it to the player, we will lose some point in our health bar. We can use debug.log to see the result in console board. It's similar to the console dialog on the JavaScript. Back to the Unity, we can use mouse to drag our player to test the effect. We can see that nothing happens. The reason is that there is no collider component in our player object. After adding the component, we can see the information appear on the console view, which means we have detected our enemy and lose health points during gameplay. The second step is how to make the result appear in the canvas, because our health bar does not work yet. Let's create another script called health bar. Create one empty object called UI Manager and drag this new script to this object. Actually, you can drag this script to the canvas or other objects, just make this project look clean and easy to search later. The first we need to do is change the health bar image. To do that, we need a references to the image object, and it's using Unity GUI system. So remember, whenever we code for the Unity GUI, we need to go up here and say using Unity Engine UI. We are now able to make a variable type image 
and we will call it kiosk point image. Of course, you need to make sure that it is marked as public. Then we have to connect our UI image with our player current health point variable. We just have a private references to player control. We are using find game object with tag to get these references. It will return the game object tagged player. Tags must be declared in the tag manager before using it. Once I spent almost two hours to find what's the issues of my project. Later I found that I did not give my player correct tags on the inspector, although I have read many times issues report on console view. So we have to pay attention to that point. That's one easy to ignore part during coding. In the update method, we want our current health point image always change according to our player current health point variable. Also pay attention to the range of the fill amount is from the 1 to 0. If our health point image has decreased, we want our health point effect image decrease as well. Which means if our health point effect fill amount value is greater than the health point image fill amount value, our health point effect will decrease in each frame until the health point effect fill amount value is more or equal than the health point image fill amount value. Then bank to Unity and drag two UI images references to the correct place in UI manager. Then run the game we'll see we have done it. Our health bar will be decreased when the player inside a dangerous area. Also we have complete one simple health point delay animation effect. In the end of this tutorial let's finish our player movement. Then drag the movement script to the player. We can use keyboard control our player instead of dragging them rudely. If you want to change the speed of the health bar effect, you declare one variable which represents the speed of the delay animation. Then in Inspector, you can change the variables and adjust the speed of animation. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. In the next video, I will show you how to use the C Sharp script to make some types of timer clock. All resources can be simply downloaded by the description below. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Each week, I will publish at least two or three tutorials to you guys. Finally, if you enjoy my tutorial, hope smash likes and the subscribe button. I will see you in the next episode.